Guys, I told you Unity. Did it happen yesterday? No, it fucking didn't. Please, please do not be fooled by these people with the signs. Uh, refugees welcome. They are traitors. This is Ricky Jones, the Labour MP, saying slit their throat. Right, let's get back to my clip. Lovely people. I went to, um, as you see, a load of my videos. I don't sit on my ass. I go up there and I check things with my own eyes. Um, I went up to the um, Westminster when Sarah Everard was um, a protest regarding Sarah Everard. And that was the most eye-opening thing I've ever experienced. Uh, hopefully, I'll put, some, I'll put some photos in the comments. Uh, this lady, she had a sign saying every men were rapists. Here she is. Check her double mask as well. Proper propaganda in the writing. And I thought, oh, I walked past. I couldn't keep my mouth shut. I said, oh, you're calling me a rapist. You don't know me. She went, yeah, you could. I thought, oh. So she was telling me she was scared of men, right? So I'm just giving you an idea of these people who just keep changing their cardboard signs. Um, so uh, I thought, oh, God, they look very angry, these girls. I'm, I'm a gent. I'm not going to go near a girl. You know, that's wrong. So I sat watching what was going on. I was very curious because there was a... Um, um, what, I don't know if you remember, the lady was over the TV. She was um, called out as a crisis actor. And there's been many crisis actors being called out. So uh, I sat on the wall and watched, thinking, you know, see how this goes. And there was another guy there with me. He was doing exactly the same thing. I didn't know at the time. I was a bit suspicious. But anyway, so I'm sitting there. So you've you got to remember, this lady just told me. Um, she's terrified of men. She just told me that. So... Around the back of these protesters, there was these skinheads, big muscly men. You know, I don't know describe them like Anthony Joshua, big, strong men, bald heads, skinheads, you know, sort of guys you want to see down an alley, uh, sort of guys, you know, they're piping on about with the far right movement. So you would think they would have nothing to do with these people. But no, they did, right? So anyway, so the skinheads... Uh, had some sort of earpiece, walkie-talkie thing, whatever you want to call it, um, was talking to this little skinny bloke who was very concerned of my presence because I was keeping an eye on it. He knew what I was doing. I was filming and stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah, so he was watching me, watching me, watching me. But anyway, I see the uh, main guy. He looked like the main guy. He's, he had all, like, I don't know, badges on him, like fucking like, right Nazi, uh, um, one of them Nazi skinhead blokes, racist blokes. Um, anyway, he radio through to this little skinny bloke, and I'll tell you what happened, right? So the skinny bloke, um, little rat, went over to the girls that I was talking to, and um, the girl flipped the sign. I went fucking shooting over there, because the press knew it was happening. They were all linked. They were the, the press came in straight on that second of the sign flip, right? Yeah, look at them. All ready for us. Straight away, look at the press. I ran over there, white girl as well. Um, she had BLM. I said, hold on a minute, what are you on about? One minute you're here for that poor lady. Um, now you're saying BLM, it's not making fucking sense. She was like, ah, oh, you're the pro... And it went into pantomime mode. You're the problem, that's what I got. Anyway, so I thought, again, women... It's hard, isn't it, with women? You know, you, you, they, you, what can you do? You know, I'm not going to be... I'm trying to be respectful I can. And, um, yeah, so I waited around. And then they went to... You know, there's a wall at the back of the green... And they did a, like, a typical protest. People got up and they were going, yeah, just cheering and chatting shit. Nothing to do with poor Sarah Everard. And then um, it was the most fucking weird experience. That's when it all started turning nasty, right? Because the guy I was with, I was talking to him. He started obviously speaking up, getting annoyed because they wasn't res paying respect to Sarah Everard. Um, but anyway, so they started doing this fucking satanic prayer thing, right? When the Labour, uh, the black lady, I forget her name, the Labour MP. Um... Fuck, I wish I got a photo of all that now. Never mind. Anyway, so, um, um, yeah, she started talking this funky, funky... I don't know if you've seen the film um, Eyes Wide Open, you know, with Tom Cruise, and they're in that circle. It was kind of like that. And uh, I thought, fuck this. And my mate, uh, well, he wasn't a mate. He, he, he just seemed a nice enough bloke, and his heart was obviously in the right place being there. He was piping up, getting annoyed, and then they got really angry, and they turned on us. And then I called us... The names, and I'm swearing now, but from a lady, you know what I mean? You expect better. And uh, the anger they had, it was just incredible, incredible, right? Anger. And um, anyway, so it's like getting in my face. If you if you ever go and meet these people, just go and meet them. What's the anger? 
what should we should, they they are so low self being people they are so low they're so angry they have a low self uh these people and i feel for them i do feel for them um yeah so anyway so they did that and then uh i thought i better get out swimming again and shouting my mate my mate who calls the trouble <laughs> he done a run i thought nice one so uh anyway so when to get out and then i felt a man's hands uh behind me and i thought i'm not fucking having that but oh, i'll be truthful i turned around the guy was about seven foot i thought oh, i better leave that there but they pushed me about right so this is where it gets even freakier where it's all linked right and i would only speak to you the truth right um so i remember city of london by the way i uh got pushed and uh the press were on me taking photos i thought oh here we go i fucking set up a headline here and i far right or whatever i was seeing that one coming and um the uh yeah so i went to the police said uh, i'd just been assaulted there mate and i'm not kidding you this is what the copper said to me right this little feeble little copper they're, they're not like they used to be they're little, these little feeble things and now they're going to protect anyone to be honest um he said to me today i stand as a woman so guys these people are out with these signs saying refugees welcome they are so dangerous to our society um, we need to um, investigate the Freemasons. They are highly linked with everything. I've tried my best uh, to have an open mind and think not, but no, 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 no. They are linked to all of it. Um, so we really, really need to call out these traitors now because um, this is dangerous. This is like the mask is not going to come off. You're not going to be able to speak. You're going to have all these people coming over. And, you know, like we saw the thing with ISIS, you know, again, uh, Taylor Swift again got mentioned, isn't it? Cryptid again, isn't it? Three kids got killed, three concerts got cancelled. There was always a bit of cryptid there, isn't there? Um, but anyway, so allegedly we had ISIS um, uh, threatening that concert got closed down. Like there were threats of uh, the far right all around the um, all around the towns that could do a protest. And I never see far right. I saw the traitors, to be honest. So um, yeah, so. Like I said on the previous one, unity is going to be massive because it's going to be. I just, I just hope the the black community, the gay community, uh, whatever labels we all got these days, um, uh, Muslims. I hope they're very, very smart because uh, we're going to be going into a Chinese territory. It's good. It's going to be horrible. You're going to have face recognition everywhere. I've already seen it in shops, and I think. You're going to have a social credit score system because of all the riots and stuff and anti-social behaviour. It's all going to be for your safety, boys and girls. It's all going to be for your safety. Don't you worry. You're going to live a good life, you know. Ooh, good life. Make sure you've got a good score. Make sure you don't criticise the government. Make sure you don't criticise any nonces. Um, yeah, just, just guys, just see through it. Brilliant. You can see the unity starting. You can see it's there. Um, and one more thing before I go as well is I'm just going to let you know how media your brain is driven, right? Let's go back to the Manchester bombings, right? This is how I'm going to show you how I think the whole thing is scripted. The Manchester bombings, right? How many riots were there? And that's in Manchester. Manchester's quite a rough area, you know? They don't have it up there. None. All they were doing is sticking stupid little bunny, uh, bumblebee tattoos on their, on their body right kids died in that concert right again one of these like luciferian artists wasn't it? Well, i can't remember that one mighty cyrus wasn't it that one uh taylor swift yeah just just do a little bit of research guys on these people but anyway because the media the media there was no rights no encouragement to riot it was all like uh let's not be defeated blah 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 Put the fucking B on it. that make it all better. Never mind the kids. We'll have a little bumblebee tattoo. that will make it all better. But no riots. It's weird, isn't it? And then suddenly we have it again. Three kids. There was a lot of riots. But the media weren't, had a different look on this one, didn't they? They had a different look. It wasn't about peacefulness and get a tattoo on your, on your body. So I'm just going to let you know, even like people, if you're still getting any sand... Just get it out quick as you can because it's very dangerous having your head in the sand when this is all happening and kids are involved now and all the medical procedures and things that are happening. So, like I say, exciting times if you're smart, bad times if you're stupid. So, have a brain. God bless everyone. We're about to win this. Bye.